viewers who were eagerly waiting for season 11 of Bringing Up Bates, which was scheduled to premiere back in February, were met with disappointment after UPTV pulled the plug on their hit series last minute, despite promoting it relentlessly in the prior months. This was a major shocker for the fans, as they were completely caught off guard by the news because filming was already underway at that point. While no exact explanation was ever provided regarding the show's cancellation, UPTV stated the show no longer fitted in with the network's programming focus despite previously bragging about it being a rating winner. So what exactly prompted the network to cancel the long-standing reality TV show? Here are a few reasons that might have led to its eventual downfall. Unlike most other reality TV families, the Bates never hid the fact that they were proud supporters of former President Donald Trump. In January 2021, Trey shared a video on his Instagram story which showed him wearing an American flag face covering around his neck, while Lawson filmed the surrounding crowd on his phone filled with Trump supporters. The footage was soon deleted from their social media, but not before it had already gone viral. Amidst escalating backlash, the brothers had to deny that they had anything to do with the attack on the Capitol building. Lawson defended himself and his sibling on Twitter, stating that the duo only attended the pro-Trump rally in Washington DC's Ellipse Park. I'm sorry you haven't done your research, or maybe you have and just didn't like the truth, but this was a peaceful public event at the Ellipse, and not at the Capitol buildings," Lawson replied. We were not there and have always roundly condemned the violence, as we still do. As the backlash grew, Lawson continued to retweet Republican lawmakers, calling for the president to denounce the violence. But when Twitter banned Trump, citing the risk of further incitement of violence, Lawson voiced his outrage. Your church is closed, but strip clubs are open. Small businesses are shut down and fined, but Walmart and airlines are busier than ever. The leader of the free world is banned from speaking on any platform, but the dictator of Iran is allowed to post Death to America. In the wake of the incident, a campaign quickly started on Twitter to cancel bringing up Bates, with users flocking to the network's most recent promotional tweet to call for the show's end. What happened yesterday was very serious. No more of this family, please," one person responded, as another asked, does your network consider violent insurrection and sedition uplifting family entertainment, asking for a boycott-ready American democracy? The pressure on canceling the baits spread like a wildfire, so much so that UPTV had to release a statement clarifying that they looked into the matter and that the Bates brothers had no involvement whatsoever with the violence at the Capitol. There's a strong implication that the family could have been victims of the cancel culture, as having conservative views and voicing against the mainstream narrative has gotten numerous celebrities cancelled prior to the family as well. Another strong reason behind the show being written off is allegedly due to the family's mockery of the late George Floyd, whose death sparked shootings, looting, and vandalism throughout major cities. In a video posted by Carlin in November 2021, the family can be seen mocking Floyd's death in a game of charades. One member pretended to be someone with a gun while another yelled out Floyd's name, which caused the whole family to erupt in laughter. Although the video was quickly taken down, the irreparable damage was already done. According to blogger Katie Joy, the UPTV staff members were furious and pushed for the show's cancellation after watching the video. It was wrong of the family to joke about another person's death, but the liberal elites in the TV world have said and done far worse things but didn't have to pay a hefty price as the Bates family did. Fans also began wondering if there was a chance the Bates family's cancellation was connected to the Duggars and if UPTV was in any way inspired by TLC to take the step. Many believe producers were under pressure to disassociate the network from the Bates because they're close friends with the Duggars. The Duggars have fallen into notoriety for their controversies and legal nightmares, and it seems the Bates family also paid the price for being associated with them. The two extra-large families lived a similar lifestyle, and once by their own admission were great friends, having even appeared on each other's shows over the years. Counting On was cancelled immediately after Josh, who has now been jailed for 12 and a half years, was arrested on multiple pornography charges back in June 2021. Carlin and Evan Stewart were looking to purchase a car from Josh during the time he downloaded child sexual abuse material. Text messages from Josh to Evan were presented as evidence at the trial, which the network was certainly not pleased about. It was speculated that their open support for the former president, Josh Duggar's conviction coupled with the mockery of George Floyd, could have prompted the network to pull the plug on the successful show, as advertisers were unhappy with the mounting controversies the Bates were embroiled with. But the problems for the Bates family hardly seem to have ended, as they will be featured in a documentary alongside the Duggars about the Institute of Basic Life Principles. The IBLP is an ultra-conservative Christian ministry, to which both the famous families have close ties. 
The Amazon documentary, which is still in the works, is expected to release in 2023 and will shed light on the family's religions and bring to the forefront more scandals surrounding the families by exposing their shocking connections. Numerous survivors of IBLP families have spoken about the outrageous abuse they suffered while living that extreme lifestyle. As the documentary aims to investigate the Bates and other reality TV stars who followed the ministry, it may uncover harmful principles of the Institute that have led to these families' inordinate amount of scandals and concerning cult-like traditions that can truly tarnish the family's wholesome reputation. And many believe the network pulled out of the show fearing the secrets of the Bates family would be out in the public, contradicting the image that they have carefully built on screen. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.